Okay, everybody, how you doing? Hope all is well. In a strange bout of punctuality, I'm actually available for my own Wednesday stream. This is a grumpy old guy gaming, and because things can't work out perfectly on a holiday week, I'm coming to you with what I was planning for my Labor Day entry. Uh, early September around here in Pennsylvania is very much the start of football season, especially on the left half of the state where the Pittsburgh Pirates are the closest professional team and uh, their season pretty much ends at the trade deadline. That said, we are here today with my favorite football game growing up. Uh, loved Tech Mobile, loved College Football's National Champions 2 and Deion Sanders' prime time, but honestly, they never really got better than Walter Payton football for me. Such a fantastic game. And we're going to go ahead and do a quick playthrough of it today. You can hear the little theme song in the background. You have Walter Payton there on the front. And he's going to do something that is somewhere between a smile and a grimace. Yep, there it is right there. Not sure if he's happy or just really nauseated by the sight of us there for a second. But we're going to go into the game now. Got the mode selection. We could choose a new game. Or it does have password save. Because there is a sort of playoff ladder you could play as well. Where game to game you could go through. Going to grab us a new game, 1-Up versus the computer, or 1-Up versus 2-Up versus the computer. Choose a Monday night game, which is your typical exhibition, or the road to the Super Bowl, which is your playoff ladder. Choose a Monday night game. Easy, normal, hard. We'll go normal. Um, I know I typically stick with the defaults, and it was set to easy, but I feel I should at least do normal. Uh, running time or real time, real time reflects the rules as they were in 1989. Running time, just save us a bit of time on everything. We'll go five minute quarters. And now you could go through and it's got your 1989 NFL team lineups. So you've got three divisions instead of four. You've got the East, Central, and West in the AFC and NFC. They have them labeled a little incorrectly. I just noticed that. You've got the W behind the Eastern teams and the E behind the Western teams. Fortunately, I'm a Pittsburgh guy. Uh, Steelers fan, and you can see the black helmet right there. A little bit of yellow and white striping in the middle. Um, if you press the 1 button, it will select your team. But one thing I wanted to show off here... Maybe you're not a pro fan. Maybe you're a college fan. Well, Walter Payton football still has you set because if you hit the two button on your controller, you could actually change the colors to other teams' colors. So if you're a college football fan and you say wanted to be the Pittsburgh Panthers instead of the Pittsburgh Steelers, you just cycle through the list. There's Houston, Pittsburgh, Denver, Kansas City, Los Angeles Raiders, now in Las Vegas. Uh, Chargers, who weirdly have an orange helmet on here, and then the Seahawks. And you'd go probably to something you'd feel comfortable with as far as your team's colors go. Which I'm going to say are going to be the los angeles rams yeah that right there would be your pet panthers helmet so yeah just a fun thing you could do there then you have saints and right back to the top i'm gonna stick with the pro colors because that's what i'm doing and just because i could blame myself later for jinxing the team if they end up losing we'll go ahead and pick pittsburgh's week one opponent the buffalo bills Going to head out for the coin toss. You could see Pittsburgh there, yellow jerseys, black pants. Buffalo's got blue jerseys on. Coin flipped in the air. See Walter's head as heads, and it comes up as heads. We have our choice to receive or kick. I'll go ahead and kick off. I'll take the ball in the second half. Get a little graph coming up. The red sections are where the power is the most, and because we have running time, we really want to get this going. 
important to keep track of the wind too it will blow the kick different directions like they're just out of the returner's reach and he gets taken all the way down inside the 10 yard line we're in good shape here now you have several selections in the right hand column here for defense i've only ever chosen blitz here we've got a handoff, goes to the right side. You sort of recognize the formations and the plays after you play long enough. This is going to be a pass. So we'll just hover here. It goes top side. Easy pickoff. Just kind of have to be in the area when the ball's coming down. Pardon me for one second. Hello? Ah, the beauties of live TV. Got a call, and it was a cold call. Time is wasting. We're already down to four minutes left in the first quarter. Going to choose a sweep on first down here. Just gain us some decent yardage. We've got about three to go. Halfback dive on second and short. Going to try juking just past the defensive end, and yeah, that's going to give us our first. Might as well just keep going with what isn't broke while we're inside the red zone. Here we'll go with another halfback dive on first down from the 11. Meaning we could get darn close and pick up a fresh set of downs here. But I think we're going to try and punch this in around the left edge. Second down trying to sweep. They're on full run stop and they'll get us just short. Third and three. No real gain there. Let's try the dive again. Oh, easy touchdown here. Just had an all-day gap past the right guard there. And there's the touchdown. It's a voice game. Ref says touchdown. We're thrilled. Time for the extra point, which was barely a consideration in 1989 before they moved it back well before. See our points complete, and we're up 7 nothing. Now, you'll notice the wind shifts kind of drastically in this game. We had no wind for the extra point, and now we're kicking into a 7-mile-an-hour leftward wind, sort of similar to the 5-mile-an-hour wind we kicked in earlier. Sort of works out the same for us. Another, another attempt at a pass and another interception. Guys... It really doesn't look much easier than this. I could have probably played this on hard, but uh, yeah, I just kind of felt like running up the score on the computer sometimes, you know? Going to try a quick pass here. Got it to the receiver on the inside shoulder. Nice pickup of nine. Let's try the sweep to pick up that last yard. Went with that big old run stop. Just decided the straight diagonal route to pick up that extra yard. That's a little trick from having a busted controller. The direction pad was kind of worn, and all I could really do was move in diagonals on that controller for the longest time as a kid. Sweep didn't work there. They had the full blitz coming, so second and eight. Oh, this is an all day. That's the prevent defense, and it's kind of Christmas morning for you. It gives you those edges when running, and really with the sweep, it's absolutely lethal. But you saw even with the dive there, we were able to get outside and really take advantage. Still got our 7 mile an hour crosswind, so we're kicking to the left half of the uprights. But you really got to try hard to miss an extra point. Field goals could be a bit dicey. Now all of a sudden the wind has shifted back, and we're pretty sure we're going to put this one darn near through the end zone. We want to put it at the back of the end zone, but not through. Yep, that's about perfect. We got him down at the four-yard line. Um, I feel kind of bad. Like, this isn't going to end well. Going for the pass. And, well, the quarterback learned his lesson. He just sort of scrambled around there, took the sack and the safety. Didn't want to throw three picks and three throws. Now the computer's going to kick off to us. Two minutes left here in the first. Going to move up just the slightest bit. Field the kick and make it to 
just about the 39-yard line where we're going to take over on offense. I'm just going to keep going with the rollout pass. It's always served me well. Got a decent little quick pass option there. Pick up eight, nine yards on that. Let's go ahead and switch the options so my hot route's on the left this time. Blitzing again, so we got to unload that ball in a hurry, but there's virtually no coverage, so a nice, easy pickup there. Now let's see if they lay off for the sweep. Yeah, they went with a pretty typical defense. Looks like zone cover. See, we got the edge, and that's going to give us more than enough distance to grab the first there. Let's press our advantage and try a sweep back left. Ah, looks like they're blitzing. Even on emulation, the game knows my run-first tendencies. Curse you, AI, from 1989. Ooh. Now it got real sneaky. It went with the prevent defense on the run. I'm just going to roll out the quarterback. Called a pass, audible to a run, and picked up the first. Try the roll out again, because passing yardage is looking kind of skimpy, and we want to keep those fantasy owners happy, right? Oh! We got absolutely mauled on that play and still gained six. Great toughness by the receivers. Gonna roll out again. Nice, easy, quick pass. That'll pick up our first. Now, there are other options. You could hit the next button here, and it will change. And you could see your play is here. The name is right above the diagram, so that much is nice. Let's go ahead and just call the bomb. Let's throw the bomb. I mean, we're inside the 10. It's kind of overkill, but that puts us first and goal at the one-yard line with about 20 seconds left. Time to dive it in. You'll notice the clock stops while we're going through our cadence. That's really the only pause in time you'll get with running time. That means if you need to grab a soda or what have you, go ahead and do that while your quarterback's calling a cadence. There is no play clock, so there is no delay of game. 23 nothing here in the first. and No, nah, I still don't feel bad about choosing normal difficulty here. Maybe by about halftime I will. Not sure if four, mi yep, four miles an hour, just enough to push it past the player model. Ideally, you just want to get your kick the slightest bit past the returner so he's got a backtrack. Chew up precious time. First quarter's up. That's 23 nothing. You can see the stats squarely in our favor. Buffalo has a total of one yard of offense as opposed to two turnovers. We've held the ball for almost four minutes out of the five played. And yeah, we've gained 88 yards and uh, seven first downs. <laughs> kind of silly that we have those kind of points off that kind of yardage, but with this awesome special teams, what can you do? Going to try for a rollout, and their quarterback's going to try going the whole way over, and just a bit too clever for his own good, runs himself out of bounds at a loss of five. Now they're going to try a sweep. We cut that off for another loss. Should be about third and 16. I was going to guess third and 18. They're going for another rollout. Don't think we'll get there in time, but we will cut off the pursuit angle. Fourth and nine. So they've doubled their offensive production here. It's going to automatically change us to a punt return here. They're going to try kicking right to offset the left-hand wind. Actually surprised the wind has stayed fairly consistent here. Pick up the punt off the bounce and return it to midfield, where we will start our next drive. Liked how that bomb set up last time. So we're going to run it again this time. They saw a pass coming. Doesn't mean they could stop it. Big first down here, easily our largest play of the game. Now that should back them off a little, right? Nope, back to defending that run. Okay, they asked for it. We gave them every opportunity to defend the pass.
And that puts us at first and goal. Moral of the story, kids. Just give me the yards. This one's going to go off tackle. Big old gap develops. We're running right through the end zone and out of the stadium. Pulling a Bo Jackson on that one. There we go. The wind shifts to the right, but it's barely there at all. It's a zero mile an hour, so we get a true blue right down the middle. And right over the blue end zone as well. Also kind of love the neutral end zones for this game. The sort of pink and the blue. Here's a five mile an hour wind going to the right. Kind of makes sense. I mean, we did switch sides for the quarter and everything. But then it was left hand for... I'm not going to sit here and try and dissect it. I'll just point out that we once again stopped them inside the 10. I should really stop doing that. I should give these guys a chance. Starting out with a rollout pass. Thinks better at passing. And doesn't quite escape the goal line. Gets tackled right at the goal line, and it's good enough for the safety, says the ref. So we are now up 32 to nothing in the second quarter. Been a couple drives since we opened up with a run. Let's start with a halfback dive on first. Solid fiver. Second down sweep. Okay, four yards. They gave us four. Wow, they really have us keyed in on runs on second down, don't they? Let's try run again on third down. Even if I don't pick it up, I feel good about picking it up on fourth. Oh, yeah, we got it. We managed to get the corner that time, and that gave us just, just all kind of daylight. Let's keep it on the ground. First down sweep. Why not? Well, the answer is they snuffed it out and we took a considerable loss. Second down bomb, anybody? Oh, prevent defense. We're going to roll this out. Just going to go past the backer there and should be pretty close to a first. Yeah, third and two. We'll half back dive that. Nice safe gains there. Not going to set the world on fire with a half back dive, but we will pick up a first down. Let's go back to our rollout pass since they've got the bomb pretty well snuffed out. That worked out pretty well. Let's call it again and this time chuck it right. Did a rollout left. Let's do a rollout right. I know the diagram says we're supposed to roll left, but I'm a maverick. I like to do things a little different. Two minute warning. We will take the two minute warning, second and five with a minute 56 left. Keeping the shutout alive, seeing if we could drive one more time here inside a two. And you know I'm feeling good about that. Fresh set of downs at about the two. Let's reverse the dive. Try diving off the left side here. Yeah, not too much doing there. Not, not much you can do on that one. Just take your lump and move on. They went goal line on us. Second down, they're not so lucky, and we take it right back over the heart of the defense and score again. 38-0, extra point imminent. And is good. 39 to nothing. Minute and a half left in this bad boy. At least in the first half. That's right, it's only halftime. Oh, this is going to be bad for the computer. Old sports games are where I take out my aggression from playing terribly in virtually every other game. Platformers, shooters... Strategy games, RPGs, everything that I can't optimize or just miss jumps on. Sports games are where I get you back. There they get a half back dive for a solid two yards. Let's go with the blitz. Almost chose prevent defense there like a chump. He saw what was coming, takes a third and 21, just basically kneels down on the goal line. Here we go with the sweep, hoping the halfback can get them out of trouble. And, well, 
he gets them back to the four. Oh, they're going to give him the five. Nice. Fourth and 17, and they're punting. 45 seconds by the time we get the ball. Oh, no. I didn't notice that. It stops the clock while punting. Okay. Well, they downed the punt for us. So, 43 seconds. We're just going to throw the bomb. Just all about the bomb here. We got maybe two shots to make progress. Let them come. There's the pass. Big gain there. Down to about the 20. We should have a chance at this one. Yep, coming for us again. It should be close. And touchdown. Two big passes, and we added yet another score on. This would be what you call running up the score. If this was a high school game, we'd be rather disrespectful. If this is a college game, there'd be middle-aged dudes without their shirts on calling us all sorts of foul names. That's the beauty of the game, isn't it? Pros, people would be talking about unwritten rules left and right. It's a game. Playing football, it's 46 to nothing. Nobody would do this to other people in real life. That's halftime, mercifully, 46 to nothing. Taking a look at the stats breakdown, Buffalo went from a positive one yard to a negative five. Managed to keep those turnovers at two, though. Uh, we're racking up all sorts of decent yardage. 69 on the ground, 147 in the air, and 14 first downs. Time to head to the third. And we did, in fact, kick off to start the game. So the computer's going to be giving us the ball right back here to start the second half. Thought I may have overrun my pursuit angle. So we've got a bit of a long field challenge to go here. 19 yard lines where we're going to start off. They're going to say the 18, but I'm going to say the 19 because who are they? Halfback dive to start the festivities and a solid pickup of eight there. Really wanted to call the sweep again. I caught myself in that tendency. We're going to roll out. Nice, easy first down. Coverage held off. Weren't even challenged. Let's go ahead and call the sweep. Keep hoping for that prevent defense, and it's just not happening. Pick up a couple on the sweep. Nothing too drastic. Let's go with the second down dive. See, there's the prevent, and if that was on a sweep, we'd be off to the races. Still going to pick up the first on the dive, but nowhere near what I was hoping for. So we've kind of putzed around a little bit. Let's call another rollout here. Just kind of making a decent drive out of this. Come in in front of the corner. Pick that one up. Got a couple first downs in a row. Let's go ahead and call a rollout here just for the sake of variety. Not too often you could throw the same play twice in a row for the sake of variety, but that's what we got going on there. Second and two now. Going to run the whole way outside just past the defensive end and pick up our first. Not much more than that. Let's go with another first down sweep. We've got the whole left side. Got a decent gap, just got to get past the defender, and nah, defensive lineman tracks us down. Second and 11, let's try to sweep right. Sweep's just not working out for us this game. Let's throw a bomb on third and 12. Prevent defense, they got us. They, they got us down pat, but... uh. Ain't going to matter. That's our first passing touchdown of the day, kids. Can't believe it took me that long to throw one into the zone, but there you have it. That puts us over 50 points. 53 with the extra point? Yep, 53 nil. 
Still got 310 left in the third, but that was a pretty decent time killer as far as drives go for me. No wind in sight. Normally I would pick a direction and kick it, but I kind of want to give the computer a break here in the second half. They've been good sports about giving me half a hundred already. So let's give them a little bit of real estate to work with. They're up to about the 28-yard line. First down, they're going to roll out. It's going to be a straight rollout. Quarterback's not getting past me, so it's going to be about second and 13. Another blitz incoming. Yep, he's not throwing. Two picks and two throws. I've got him scared for life. Third and 26 at the 11. It's going to be a sweep. Cut that at the quick. We aren't having those shenanigans. Fourth and 29, they're punting. Because, of course, they're punting. It's fourth and 29. Big mess on the punt there, and we're at the 48. Yeah, let's just go ahead. Nice, simple offense. Only a few plays, but effective plays. Dive there. Let's reverse course and dive left. Come right off the defensive end. Probably picked up a yard if that. Yeah, third and six, not much. Dive again. That should be our first. That should be pretty darn close. Fourth and one. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the dive. They're going to go for the goal line. I'm going to try cheating just to the left here and up over the pile. Did we get it? No, we got turned away. Hats off to the Buffalo defense for turning us away on that one. And hats off to the Buffalo offense for picking up right where they left off, dropping four on a sweep on first down. Now the quarterback's going to roll out. Doesn't even make it past the initial rush, so it's third and 14 after no gain. Trying for a reverse. You don't see this one out of the old computer playbook often, and we snuff it out again, so fourth and 16. Much ado about nothing there, but at least they get to punt us deep into our territory. Because I was a yachts and decided to try halfback dives all day. Gonna get it out to about the 20 and not much more than that. Learn my lesson. Power sweep on first. Oh yeah, we got daylight. We got daylight and we got a first down right off the bat. Now let's go ahead and call the bomb, back him off a little bit. That'll take us over midfield. 50 seconds left in the third. And we're rolling. We are cruising. Nice pickup of four there on first on the dive. Let's go with the second down sweep. Because we've only done that about 11 times today. Yeah, they saw that coming. We're not terribly concerned. Reverse the bomb so that the hot routes are on the right side. Just allow a little bit of distance there. We got tripped up there. A little bit of bump and run coverage. Of course, no penalties in the game either, but we did manage to complete the pass. Go ahead, call a bomb left, and see if we can't get this one into the end zone before the end of the third here. Atone for my earlier egregious, just callous play calling. It was, it was awfully arrogant of me to assume I could just get that yard on fourth. But we've made up for it with a touchdown there. Just did cross the line with 12 seconds to spare. Get our extra point across, and that is 61-0 through three. Okay, fun time over. We got six seconds left. We're putting this ball on the right side. We're getting it past the returner by a decided amount. Angled the kick there with the old kicker's foot outline. Looks to be about a size 12. Normal width. 
I'm sorry, 60 nothing. I didn't realize it already counted the extra point there. That stat line just keeps getting uglier and uglier for Buffalo. Uh, we've held the ball for over half the total game time already. And we've got over 100 rushing yards and over 200 passing yards. Also, averaging seven first downs a quarter. Let's see what Buffalo does to start off the fourth here. Bill's offense lining up. Still not throwing. They're calling passes. They're just not actually throwing. Here we go. Here's the bomb. we got to throw this one, right? Yep. Interception number three. Now on hard mode, he will he will choose between different targets. Normal, it seems more often than not, he just throws to the hot route and easy. He absolutely throws to the hot route if he doesn't just, you know, tuck it under and die. Uh, easy mode, you see pretty much after the first one, he just clams up and doesn't do anything. There's also a delayed reaction. The defense doesn't pursue as well in easy mode. Normal difficulty, you still get some fair angles. Uh, hard mode, you really got to work on the runs. I called a timeout there because my controller acted up. And then I called a punt. I almost punted the ball away. Holy direction button, Batman. Fortunately, I was able to call the dive real quick before we got out of play selection. Picked up the touchdown there. And the extra point, because that thankfully doesn't require my direction pad. So 67 nothing. there, four minutes left in the game. Let's hope we can get through this without any more of those hijinks, huh? Five mile an hour win, just completely botched the spin on this kick. Should still move just out of the returner's range. Yeah, it bounced right beside the poor guy. Puts him right on the hash marks at about the 12. Blitz as per usual. Oh, he did throw to the opposite side of the field there. So there you go. A positive play for Buffalo and their first first down of the game with 345 remaining. They can do it. Consecutive completions. Good on them. Second and five. Let's see what we got brewing here. Looks like a quarterback draw. Gets the edge on me. Ran out of bounds, but not before picking up the first. Of course, that won't really save them. It's running time either way. Here we go again. Going to throw it. And, uh, well, it was bound to catch up sooner or later. Through to the intended route on a bomb, and we were able to cut it off for the pick. And that's going to pretty well do it for the game. Just going to kind of milk the clock here. Just short, consistent gains. Put ourselves in a good position to make the first. Prevent defense. I can't not roll out on this one. I just can't. First and ten now. Pretty good game there. Go ahead and call the rollout again. Nice pickup. Okay, that puts us inside with about two and a half left. Time for some halfback dive. Just off to the right. Yep, just past the defender and into the goal line we go. Yet another touchdown. That puts us over 70 points. 
don't know if we'll hit our seven first downs this time. Um, but yeah, there you go, 74 nothing. Definitely a ton of fun to play with a friend, Walter Payton football. Computer, always good for a beatdown every now and then. Of course, the CPU takes it like a champ. But, uh, yeah, this is just one of these games I played the... I played the crap out of it as a kid. Go roll out and... Ooh, I think he got out of the end zone. Yeah, two-minute warning. They still got the ball. Two minutes on the dot. Second and 14 at the one. Going for the... Uh, they went for the sweep. I thought maybe they'd go for the dive, the quick yards by the line of scrimmage, but the sweep was an easy safety there. 76 nothing. Kind of feel like we owe it to our stats to try for the seven first downs, you know? Bomb past the blitz. Kind of the quickest you'll ever see a play called the bomb go off, but uh, that's what we do. We drop the bomb on them. Already outscored the third quarter. Nowhere near the scores we got in the first half, but then we were intentionally trying to pin them back to the walls there in the first half. Kind of let off the gas a little bit here in the second Had a little running room that time, so that's three quick firsts. We're just going to keep chucking the ball downfield here. That should be an easy. Yep, that takes us down to the five. Another first down. And we know what time it is. It's time to get the hosses out there, let the big running back do big running back things. Pass the defenders. Don't know if that'll count. Nope. Second and one at the one. Normal football. He extends past the goal line. That's your score. Here they were looking for getting into the fancy painted grass, which we do there. So unbelievably, we broke 80 points. 50 seconds left. It's 83 nothing. We definitely should not get another score here, unless the game absolutely wants to give us a safety on this one. We'll kick it far left this time. High spin, high power, one mile an hour win. So this is going to be left corner in the end zone about halfway. And yeah, we get him down at the 11. 36 seconds left, a good way to run it down. Probably about two plays left in the game. Should be a run. Nope. Going to throw it. Well, they're going to sit on it, and sure enough, they really wanted to give us that safety. I stand corrected, folks. 85 nothing. Now, I have never in my life returned a kick for a touchdown in Walter Payton football, and I never will. Because my timing's that bad. But we did at least get it that far. And just for the sake of running up the stats a little more, because it's a video game, why not? We'll call the bomb one more time. Okay, picked up a first down there. One more bomb to end. This will end the game definitively. There's two seconds left. There's the pass. A little bit of running room. We got it down to the opponent's 35, and that's where the game will end. Now, did I have to go through all four quarters? No, this one was pretty over the opening coin flip, but I did want to get through to the end here just to show this off. Here you can see big fancy stats. Buffalo, of course, did come back with those 14 passing yards, two first downs, and a 
absolutely hats off to him. Negative nine total yards. We got over 500, 155 on the ground, 378 through the air, and a 1439 total time of possession. This is where it gets really fun, though. You've got your one loss record there, one win, zero losses. So even if you're playing Monday night games, you could go ahead, string them together, and make a little series. Got our yardage and broken down per attempt. So we averaged 4.4 yards per carry. <coughs> Pardon me. And we were a perfect 27 of 27 through the air. No incompletions, no interceptions. Didn't kick a field goal, so we don't have a longest one there. Defense, negative nine yards, forced four turnovers, and there's our password. <coughs> if you got a piece of notebook paper and you really want to continue where I'm leaving off here, and you've got a working master system or emulator that you want to play this on, get ready. Here it comes. L6F7ASIF6ZFKCFR4FFP7FFFWFF. Hope you, hopefully you got that down. In the meantime, I'm off to make some burgers and dogs. You guys take care. We'll see you around.